This is Dabu7, and we've got an interesting move being made here by NASA and other space agencies around the world, or those places that are in control of these telescopes, as they've literally launched this Minor Planet Center bulletin that says that the IAWN is launching a campaign on November 27th through January 27th. This campaign will target 3i Atlas. And to be clear, this is not a Reddit rumor. This is not a 4chan leak. This is straight from the IAU connected to the University of Harvard. I've got official links here and everything. You can go read it for yourself. But they say that on behalf of NASA's International Asteroid Warning Network, the same group that coordinates global tracking and planetary defense situations, they say that this is happening for the first time in history as this object that looks wild as it gets, 3i Atlas, has been formally enrolled into this planetary defense level observation campaign. They're calling it a test of improved astrometry methods. In other words, the object is not behaving like it should, and they admit it. They go on to say that cometary bodies are extended. They have features that can systematically pull their centroid measurements off their central brightness peak, meaning that the light and the mass do not line up in this situation. This is the exact situation astronomers have been talking about for months, about artificial light, things aren't right with it, nothing matches up to a normal comet, it doesn't have a tail like one, they're saying at this point, their timeline is to have a workshop on November 10th. They're going to have a kickoff meeting on November 25th in this whole global observation. As they're putting it, it's going to begin on November 27th and run to January 27th. Then they'll have a, a closeout telecon on February 3rd. But that window right there covers perihelion. And that's Earth's near pass near Atlas at its closest, brightest approach. So NASA, ESA, the IAU for months have been quiet. Now all of a sudden they've just activated this planetary defense network and they did it under the cover of a, over this exercise pretty much. Um, this, is, this is pretty unprecedented right here. And let's be clear about it. It's not normal. They don't normally organize global campaigns like this for routine comets. We've never seen it before. Not to mention, you've got like more than a half dozen comets floating around out there right now in our inner solar system. Swan, Lemon, all these other ones, man. Pan stars. This thing is stealing the show. And it's pretty obvious. Their quietness now all of a sudden all eyes on this object, calling it a training exercise. I don't think so. When every telescope from Mauna Kea to Chile is all synced on one object, that's not a drill. Something's going on with this. I'll leave links. You can read it for yourself. I'm going to cover this in more detail. If you guys got any connections to anything, let me know. We've been dropping videos with wild images of this thing that just get crazier and crazier. So, what it's worth, this is what's going down. Join me on the live shows. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Dabu 77 Talking about details to this and a lot more. Hope to see you there. Much love and eyes to the sky.